It's mail time! Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's check our mail. I said, let's, okay, there we go. Mario, you got a letter from Princess Beach! As you would expect. Hey, Mario. I'm very far away right now, but I'm okay. I know you will come save me. P.S. I've attached something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. It's a P-Wing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> princess Peach included five one-up mushrooms in her letter. Wow. They are, and when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see you next time. There's a mail delivery. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> that's, that's a good way to start out your save file. And I think I'm gonna go through those just to collect some star bits. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, I'm gonna use, I mean, I'm gonna do this one, this part, then this one, the uh, galaxy after this, I think, in the next part, probably. I think that's how it's gonna organize itself best. So, Cosmic Cove Galaxy is up next, and Twin Falls Hideaway begins! Yeah, it's a swimming level and all those little critters swimming on the surface. Those are Skeeters. And the uh, urchin type things under the water, it's like seaweed urchin type things. Uh, you can see them right down over here. They're Snoodles. See those? When I get close to them, the eyes are gonna open up. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we, we probably want some swimming tutorials. So let's talk to Coach Penguin here. Oh, hey there! Everyone's out there in their steering drills right now! Awesome, tastic! And needless to say, a circle equals star bits. We got a Koopa hanging out over here. Oh no, poor Koopa! Poor Koopa, I scared him in a shell. Oh, there might be something we can do with that Koopa. There might be something. Here's a tip, there's a trick to steering like a pro! What a seashore! Here you go! And here's your swimming tutorial. Well, it's the basics. So he said, oh man, press A to swim. Uh, you could actually kind of do this demonstration yourself, but I just kind of feel obligated to at least show the hit movies because, you know, they're kind of orchestrated kind of nicely, I gotta say, <laughs> in terms of demonstration. You see, he's like the, the player here that made this video is going to each penguin perfectly to give you explanations as well as demonstrations, one right after the other. But of course, there's more that I can cover than just that stuff. You'll see here. On the surface, use the control stick to direct yourself and Z to dive. If you're underwater, press the control stick and A to swim. Press the stick forward. You send back to the surface, sort of like airplane controls. Guide yourself by turning left and right. Try it out! If you start running out of air, tilt back and hold A to get to the surface. Or find an air bubble. Okay. Or, you know, they're. Oh, yeah, these things come back. Here's a cutscene. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yeah, about this scoop out here. There's another way to swim. See, if you. If you just say grab a shell. I can't, cl I can't climb this stuff, can I? Nah. Alas, alas. Anything in, at least in here? Nah. How disappointing. But if I were to just grab a shell, I could just control myself with the control stick. Yeah, this is all that I'm doing is control stick. No buttons, no anything. It's pretty, pretty swift swimming. <laughs> you can also shake it to throw it. Yeah, and you can use it to break open stuff and whatnot. Cheap cheeps hanging out at the surface, which is probably my best bet at actually hanging out at places because, well, I'm, I'm not a fish. Despite how it may look with how capable Mario is in the water. But don't worry, we'll, we'll get through this together. <laughs> Even humans can make it through a Cosmic Cove galaxy. Woohoo! <laughs> That's the kind of star bits clump that I sort of like to grab. And, well, I guess not as many as I would like to grab, but still. But still. But still. So there's these little crates here underwater as well. Well, well, well. Say, if you were to grab a shell, you can also break those open and see it's juicy contents, whatever they might be. So let's just kind of aim ourselves with the spotlights and shake the Wii Remote. Yeah, you shake to throw your shell. I like Mario's I'm holding my breath face. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you can get up there without a spin, by the way. Alright, let's continue on. I'll, I'll do normal swimming for the rest of this here, just so that you can get a nice feel for things as to how things are going. Grab air bubbles like that. 
uh, to, well, recover your air, obviously, Sonic style. Oh man, Popper Fish of Death! Their hitboxes of their spikes aren't as large as they actually look. But don't worry. Don't worry, they still try and track you, so they're a danger if you are worried about difficulty. <laughs> oh, I forgot that that goes in a straight line like that. Well, 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 I'm not really super concerned about <laughs> that sort of thing on a first run here because, well, yep, there's one of those here. <laughs> so, there be another star hanging out around these parts. And maybe I should have grabbed the shell, it would have made things a little bit faster. But, well, but, well, and you, yeah, <laughs> Starfish, yeah, I'm just trying to show both styles of swimming, I guess you could say, and how's it going there, Pengy, Pengy, yes, he does, I guess, <laughs> can I break this with a spin, yeah, I can, I, oh, that camera, that camera was not, not working for me here, <laughs> jellyfish, hanging out, actually, those are, those are pretty dang big for your typical jellyfish. So they, they don't they probably have a lot of water resistance and they're trying to move fast, but they're failing at it because well it just they just can't do it. They don't have that sort of speed. Obviously there's a comet metal down there. Uh, I'm sick of swimming all the time. Is it ice skating season yet? Well, maybe not yet. But soon. But soon. If, if this place has different seasons. I don't know how this particular section of the universe is like. All I know is I'm just trying to explore stuff just to show you around. <laughs> like to see this little waterfall up here. You can go up there to sort of kind of get yourself some coins, but they're kind of kind of troublesome to get. You can jump on skeeters or spin at skeeters too to kill them, but Let's talk to our elder here. Oh, how's it going? Uh, it's Penguru, actually, is his actual name. I never really said that, did I? I, I probably put it in text or something at this point. Uh, what's all this about? You're searching for a star? Oh, hmm. Well, all I can tell you is that you will need the power to climb waterfalls. It is possible. Hmm. 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 Well, anyway, I should probably continue my trek that I was doing up this sort of kind of... I, I want to say tower, but it's submerged. <laughs> so, so it's more like... It it's only a little bit is tipping out from... I mean, peeking out of the surface. Oh, oh man, it's frozen! Yippee, it's frozen solid! Use a control stick and shake the Wii Remote to start ice skating! Woohoo! Oh yeah, look at me go! Woohoo! I am Nancy Kerrigan! <laughs> so this is the actual way that you're supposed to get these coins up here. Yeah, you can just skate up the waterfall. <laughs> or, you know, Scott Hamilton, whoever, whoever you prefer in the male or female skating circuits, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, but more importantly, there is this waterfall here. Oh, look at that! We can we can now just wall kick right up there. It's magical. <laughs> Anything to be gotten here? No, no, I guess not. But there is most certainly something over here. I do believe this is the star we're supposed to get. <laughs> There we go, so I, I hope I gave you a good enough rundown of skating and swimming, because we're going back in there for another star. <laughs> oh yeah! Woo! The Twin Falls Hideaway, yep. That be the one. <laughs> Any sort of cutscene? I don't think so. Well, I mean, there's that, I suppose, but that's like mandatory whenever you beat one star, I mean, collect one star of a galaxy and whatnot. So, yeah. Anyway, going back in. One other star to be had there. And its name is... Exploring the Cosmic Cavern. Ooh, underwater. Spooky. Ooh, the key. Ooh, star bats in the background. Oh, I can't collect them. And it's frozen this time, so it is indeed a continuation from the last time. Get me out of here! Starbits first! 
Okay, what, what, oh, okay, what's going on here? I didn't mean to jump on you. I wanted to talk to you. It's a nice trap in there. Everyone's looking for a key. Okay, so we gotta find the key to free our starry buddy there. Where could that key be? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Maybe it's in the bush. Nah, we've seen it out in that spacey type area, but what can we do to get said key in such an out of reach place? Who knows? Where is it? I don't know. It's You're certainly not going to find it. Just running around in circles here. Look at me shaking. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you're so cold. You're giving me the cold shoulder. Well, I can knock you for a loop and kick you around into other stuff as well if I'd like to. Poor Cheap Cheeps. They are frozen for the winter. <laughs> But the other critters of the area thrive, and thrive well they do. Okay, so now there's a pipe here. <laughs> Everyone is searching inside. So there's probably a key inside here. Oh man, oh man, ground found. Oh, like a pro. And I don't think there's anything to grab over there, but... Oh, well, maybe we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. No, I want to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah! Oh. So, we're in side scrolling town. Oh, bubble! Yeah, they don't hurt you, they just kind of set you back to the start. Uh, but you can shake out of them. <laughs> Not really a big deal or anything like that. The, the the more dangerous enemies are stuff like this. What's it? Oh, oh! Aha, oh, Thermos! Yeah! Yeah! I was gonna long jump over that, but I think I'm gonna, I would end up nicking that critter. <laughs> uh, oh, whoop! You gonna say anything to me before I go? Okay, yeah, it's just another swim tutorial, I guess. <laughs> Whenever you see a switch, swim next to it to flip it on. You never know what will happen. Is there a switch in there? Nah, nah, alas, alas. <laughs> yeah, come on, let me see what's in the boxes. Ah, I was useless, completely useless. <laughs> Spin and the fish do not get scared whatsoever. I really don't need coins here, do I? <laughs> I'm not, that, that hungry Luma is not in this particular version of the world. <laughs> so let's just take a look, see. Oh man, grab a coin and get more arrow bubbles work too. <laughs> you know, I, you know, wait, no, that's a. Oh yeah, it does. I, I was thinking he's not giving a double tutorial there of, of both things, but whatever, whatever. Like, bubbles are implied in the other area anyway. <laughs> Watch your air supply. Oh no, we're gonna drown like Sonic. That was like the most stressful part of water levels as a kid. <laughs> Open that door, just be careful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're going down. Uh, crates. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, it looks hungry. That's Gringill. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, when you whenever you go next to him, he kinda pops up. But anyway, all you wanna do is just Z to yeah, ground pound away from him, but eh, eh, eh. <laughs> enough demonstrating. It's just not a very dangerous area. That's why I'm kinda messing around here. <laughs> there's no need to worry about energy consumption when there's so many coins around the area. Alright, this looks like the place that there there might be a key based on that preview, but there's also a black hole. So there be danger here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh man. Uh-oh. It looks dangerous. Is it touchable? I don't think so. <laughs> it's a jammy fish. Not a jellyfish, a jammy fish. But if I spin next to it. Oh! That I can do though. By the way, you um, may also want to get air from edges like that by jumping out vertically, but not, not going down. That would be potentially dev oh, potentially devastating. Oh, let me up, let me up. Okay, <laughs> it wouldn't let me spin because that's a, a slippery area. Uh, you know, maybe it's not worth getting that one up. I, I got five from Peach when I started here, and that's just ah, that's just gonna burn our time. <laughs> Uh, probably be worth getting coins now, and now I'm, now I'm messing about too much. Uh, what actually is down here, though? Is just like a turning point? I don't want to ground pound too quickly here. 
Because <laughs> I might just ground pound into the black holes that surround the area. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to give you full exploration of the area. And up we go! Uh oh. Woo! Huh? Huh? This keeps going and going! I think you have to die from there. <laughs> yeah, floating water cubes. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot! I didn't mean to. T <laughs> floating water cubes? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a thing in space. There actually is floating water out in space. They're not sure why there is, but there is. <laughs> so this is pretty realistic, although it's not in cube form, so maybe it's not that realistic. Alright! He's finally free! He's finally free! Star Brits, I can finally get them! Yes! Yes! 100 for 1 up. Alright, so we're back over here. Uh huh. This little guy is gonna be okay, thanks to you. And now, as you might have guessed. Whew, thanks! There's more humid in there than you think! <laughs> and it changed into a launch star. I'm kinda curious though. If their dialogue changes, like these duders over here, uh, oh, it doesn't. Oh, okay, that's kind of disappointing there, because they, they can clearly see from over there that he's been freed. But alas, alas, it doesn't change. Starbit, starbit, Oh, Captain Toad's ship. Uh, I'll go over here before I... Some vacation. Can't go swimming because everything is frozen. <sighs> See you there. I, I've been uh, working hard on this mission to help you find the star. Oh, look, there's a star over there. Yep, I knew it all along. <laughs> sure, you did. Sure, you did. I can't point at those star bits, or really interesting. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not. Oh, that was one star bits. My bad. <laughs> I just looked at it really quickly and I was like, oh, that's not. Yeah, that's not a star bit. <laughs> oh, poopers. I wanted to show. How to kill these duders. Yeah, like so. Like so. <laughs> so you make these electrical fields, and look at this, we got our digging tool back, and it is beautiful. <laughs> oh no! We've hit solid rock! So what do we do to get through this? Well, we basically gotta find a soft spot on the other side of the planet. There's our soft spot right there. I think I got some coins or something underneath there. but. More importantly, I got information, and that information tells me I think this is a spot. That was not the spot! <laughs> it looked like it was on the opposite side of me, so... Okay, which one was it again? I completely forgot. Let's try this one this time. Oh, I was close! Just gotta be a little bit more over. I'll go about here. <laughs> try it again. Yeah! There we go! <laughs> Woo! And now... And now, you can hear the twinkling above, but we aren't done yet. Wait, what the heck? What is this craziness? They, they, they're indestructible! This oh, but... <laughs> so th those are micro mecha bowsers, and uh, well, we can't really do anything about them now, can we? Now can we, or well, maybe we can. What is this? What is that? It looks like... Like a hole from coming from the other side, maybe, maybe. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, okay. There's something we could do to kill them. <laughs> no, and there, I don't, actually don't think there's a hole there. But that's what I thought the first time I played through the game. Is doesn't it look like there's a dirt patch under there. That sort of implies you're supposed to do something from the other side to get in there or break in there or whatever. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, one of them contains a key, and you're like, oh man, we can dig in this. And then suddenly, we have uncorked the planet! <laughs> and uncorking the planet, of course, means we have now access to the star. Oh, oh, oh baby! <laughs> that was a pretty good chunk of time for the part, and I don't remember... If, like, where said, st I mean, coin eater would actually take me. Hmm, hmm. I, I thought it was another star. 
I thought... Oh, cutscene first. <laughs> hmm, a sassy penguin on board a spaceship? That's a new one on me. Hmm? Well, he seems to want a word with you. I wouldn't keep that one waiting. Okay, it's probably just more swimming tutorials. Where was... There you were. <laughs> I found the spot quickly this time. Uh, I, I guess... Uh, I already taught that, but I guess that's where you first learn about it. <laughs> Okay, I think I will... Oh, not yet. Not, <laughs> no mail, not right now. I think I will actually... Yeah, I was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will finish off this galaxy, because I don't think there's much to getting that one, if I recall correctly. It's just a matter of going and collecting coins. So, <laughs> I'm just going to grab a shell right from the beginning and aim for the coins, like, right off the bat. Got it? Good. You've already heard all the dialogue from all the critters that are around these parts, so we're going in. I don't really know if I'm going to need to... Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention. These guys are weak against light. Uh, the uh, snoodles. Yeah, see that? See that? Yeah, you can kill them off by shining the light on their faces, and then they'll automatically turn into uh, star bits, and yeah. <laughs> It's, it's kind of weird that they're that weak against lights. I mean, even boos. Okay, maybe boos sometimes are, are super weak against a light, but still. But still, even boos in a lot of games are not that weak against lights. <laughs> Alright, so I think I am just gonna not bother with them too much, I think. And I'm just gonna go straight for the coinages. I don't remember how many coins. The uh, hungry Luma wants to eat, but I know there's enough in this first area. But first, let's, let's, I guess we can just kind of, kind of give a give a little talk here to see what he wants. Fifteen? That's it, really? Okay, <laughs> not right now. I, I don't have fifteen. Okay, so yeah, it's I, I I thought it was pretty pretty easy going for yeah. So I figured I wouldn't have to be super stingy about my coinages. <laughs> Uh, let's see here... Uh, huh. Let's take a peek. See, I don't want to freeze everything. I don't, I don't remember if that's... If that'll get rid of the, uh... Hungry Luma or not, so it's probably not a good idea I do that. I know there's three coins up on that waterfall. Remember those? That were difficult to get with a spin that I could get, but... Those are pretty annoying to get, and hello! <laughs> Oh, this is this is a spot that I could use. <laughs> Although that shell is not going to help me collect these in the slightest. It's way, way, way too quick for me to have precision controls on that. <laughs> so this is over yeah, on the other side of those waterfalls over there. I guess I forgot to show that on my first runway. Uh, well, I'll just run through there and yeah. So I'm looking for another shell just to get back to that center tower a little quick while well, there it is. There's one over there. <laughs> We'll get there, I assure you. It's slow going, but we've got enough now. We've got enough now. And... Oops, oh, I was going to say oopsie doodle, but Skeeter mess with my doodle. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Here you go. Yeah, baby. Same dialogue, but a lot easier to collect. Transform you do. Oh man. <laughs> it looks like a water planet. At least from a distance. But it's really not. There's a black hole in the middle of the planet. I mean, there's a little bit of water on the surface, but basically, we gotta catch these star bunnies. Think you can catch me? I like to see you try it. Boing. And the chase is on, and it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> If you want, you can hit the switches. Oh man, look at that! You can turn everything over to ice and get yourself some extra speed as long as the timer is going. And that'll allow you to catch up to that bunny a little bit easier than running. Uh oh, 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 gotcha! <laughs> okay, okay, you copy. Here, take the star! And the star gets. I don't know if there's anything else to be found. Or on this planet that's special, like, probably if you shake the bushes, you'll get some star bits and stuff. But I don't think there's any, like, super, super awesome secrets or anything like that. 
Uh, I guess I could take a little peeksy around here since it's not all that dangerous. <laughs> bye bye, Skeeter. I don't have to jump on you here because you're not on the water surface and I'm not trying to swim along it. Uh, yeah, see, just, just star bits and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool planet, though. I'm not really sure how all the water stays on the surface, so, like, maybe there's a little lip to it, and that allows the water to not fall into the black hole. Maybe, might be, perhaps I'm questioning the game logic too much. Oh, I stomped you. I stomped you, and you probably didn't like that. But anyway, I'm gonna crack this star and call it a part. Because that is the end of Cosmic Cove Galaxy. <laughs> Good times. What was the name of the star? Yeah. Probably Star Bunny something. Yeah, catch that Star Bunny. I always forget the name of the hidden star because it's, it's not something that, you know, is written on the map. <laughs> or, or on the star selection screen, I should say, so... Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, I, I forget what the hidden star names are, but that's okay. It tells me after I'm done. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we explore other galaxies in World 2. <laughs>